leave it a car show. I thought I'd talk about my experience with the uh, 12 pound pulley, the 365. Uh, so I swapped it on my car after going down to uh, uh, our local dig spot here in St. Louis. Uh, and on 15 pounds, my car was pretty squirrely. I had some videos from last week with it with uh, on you know my drag slicks, and I was all over the road. Uh, last night, um, I changed the pulley out. I had to change the belt out. I thought the 15-pound uh, pulley belt would work. It doesn't. But the nice thing about that is, on the 12-pound pulley, I can switch to my 10-pound pulley, and that's my pump gas pulley. So if I were to like, say, leave town and I'm somewhere and I decide, oh, there's E85 here, I can uh, easily switch between the two, and it's no big deal. Um, and uh, so the result was uh, last night I got a video I posted it already uh, my car did slide a little bit but not nearly as much uh, a friend of mine's told me I should try leaving it 2,000 rpms I just don't think 2,000 is enough um, to get my car off the line anywhere I need 3,000 plus rpms to even move it and usually at the drag strip I need 4,500, 5,000 RPMs to even get a good 60 foot. Uh, so, my opinion, uh, the 12 pound uh, pulley for my Gen 5 Whipple is pretty much perfect. I can't really complain about the street behavior of it. Uh, it allows uh, me to run E85 pretty efficiently and I still have a lot of boost, a lot of torque that I gain from it without feeling completely neutered like on a 10 pound pulley and I don't feel like I'm losing that much from the 15 pound pulley and it's more controllable so I think uh, for the next few weeks uh, I'm going to stick with the 12 pound pulley I think I'm going to save the 15 pound for the drag strip although I'm tempted to <sighs> pardon me now I'm tired <laughs> Uh, I'm tempted to use the 12 pound at the track to see if it's a better, you know, hit for me. Um, since there's no glue, there's not really a reason why. So, there's not really a reason to uh, swap really to the 15 pound or the 17 pound pulley with a pretty much unprepped track. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, so that's kind of my opinion. Uh, swapping, swapping to the. Uh, the three pound, the 3.65, the 12 pound pulley. Uh, if you are at kind of a crossroads uh, and you're not sure if you want to uh, stay at a higher boost level, uh, man, the, the, that pulley is actually pretty good. Um, you're still gonna have a lot of get up and go, and you're still gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of easiness more on the engine than trying just to go for kill. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, uh, and I'll go from there. But yeah, the 3625 pulley from Whipple on a Gen 5 uh, Whipple uh, works phenomenally well. I was actually pleasantly happy with how well it worked. Uh, I'll try to get some more videos. <sighs> Sorry, I went to bed well after midnight, like one in the morning, and got up at six to go to the car show today. Um, I did. I did get this guy kind of cool uh, I mean I was like sweet uh, I didn't win any other things though it was kind of small I took uh, an Instagram video of it um, from what I hear there's actually four or five other car shows in the area that would just happen to be a small one um, so I know in a bigger one I won more awards so I was also on my R wheels not my my weld so that might have been why definitely check it out I have a video of that too up from uh, for this I'll probably post this video and then post the car show video I talked to a bunch of people about their cars and builds uh, try to give you guys more things uh, see how that kind of goes I'm gonna try to do that more often and uh, build this channel better and hopefully uh, make it successful and uh, yeah well anyway uh, enjoy this video and any questions about the 365 pulley uh, Feel free to hit me up here, or hit me up on Instagram. I'll probably talk about it a little bit on Instagram and uh, go from there. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Thank you and have a nice day.